So Victoria in Australia had a comment and I really wanted to call attention to this comment because because it's, it's, there's one little line in there that's important. Now she talks about that that her and her daughter, she's in Australia, did I say that? Anyway, she said that she and her daughter watch a family of kangaroos hop across the yard right in front of them uh, in the morning and, and, at, and at night. And she said that that's really unusual in Australia, no matter what the movies say, right, right Victoria? They, that that happens. Okay, and it's very magical to her and her daughter. Then she says a little bit in there, she said that she was disappointed because they had to move to the place that they now see kangaroos because of financial issues. But now she feels like she is the richest person on the planet. Now what I want you to see is that what looked like moving because she didn't have enough money, I'm going to assume, uh, to live where she had been living, what happened was because she didn't have enough human money, she was forced to move to a different house that under human rules said, oh, you're not doing as well, so that she could get to a house where the kangaroos jump right by her and her daughter at twice a day bringing vibrations that are very magical into her life. That is abundance on a 5D level or high 4D level. So, did she move to this house because she didn't have enough money and less abundant? Or did she simply desire a different kind of abundance? Because what I'm going to tell you is she is much richer than she was in the previous house. She traded her dollars in for magical currency that will help her and her daughter get up to 5D faster. So indeed, she is much richer in this house than she was in the last house, even though it doesn't translate to richer in 3D society. And this is another puzzle piece. The truth is, according to 3D humans, that if you don't have X amount of paper money or digital money, that you aren't rich. The reality is that abundance comes in in many more ways than just through a dollar. So it depends upon what's abundance to you. To me, abundance is not in a dollar bill because that just buys stuff and I'm not a big stuff buyer. Abundance to me means that I'll be able to fly again. And I got to do a very, very short flight a couple weeks ago. So man, I just kicked up my rich percentages high because I got to bungee jump and for a few split seconds I was flying. Okay, the average person would say, okay, well it costs X amount of money to do that, therefore you're poorer. To me, in first place, Sandy paid for it for me. Second place is there is no amount of money. If, if you said, okay, I'll give you a million dollars if I can take that out of your head, that experience, and I would not take that. Uh, you could offer me a billion dollars and I wouldn't take it. Because that experience of remembering how to fly means more to me than any amount of paper money or digital money on this planet. So you see the difference here? In the truth of the matter, the truth is not you are rich based on how much money you've got or how much land you've got. That's not where richness lies. That is one form of richness, and it is accurate, but it is not the only accuracy. And that's what human beings have to learn. In their rigidness of saying, this is this, they don't understand that this can also be this, it can also be this, it can also be this. And to accept these new puzzle pieces, so to speak. Stick with my analogy. For those who are watching this and haven't watched the puzzle piece analogy, please back up and watch the other video. All right. Okay, that's it, guys. Short and sweet. Love you bunches. Talk to you later. Bye.